Hello, my name is Srinivas Reddy and today I am going to discuss simulation of an ultrasonic motor and how simulation can be used to improve its design. Several electronic and microelectronic applications today use motors, actuators and sensors whose function is based on piezoelectric materials that can strain when an electric field is applied to them or generate electric field while being strained. Today we will focus on ultrasonic motors which can be commonly found in autofocus cameras or watch motors. These motors, while lightweight, produce a high torque, operate at a low rotational speed and are very quiet. In an ultrasonic motor, a rotor is positioned on a stator which contains a layer made of piezoelectric material. Electric pulses applied to the stator at specific frequencies generate a traveling wave that travels around its circumference. As a result, a point in the top plane of the stator moves up, lifts the rotor and then moves the rotor a bit backwards, then goes down detaching from the rotor and returns to its original position. This sequence of events helps drive the rotor. To generate a traveling wave, electric pulses are simultaneously sent to the stator to excite two resonating standing waves in ultrasonic frequency range at different phases. Obtaining accurate resonant frequencies and activating the rotor at the desired flexural mode is very crucial for performance of the motor. Simulation enables you to overcome the testing related difficulties and expenses. MSC software's finite element analysis software MARC allows you to easily model and simulate the complete behavior of the ultrasonic motor including the piezoelectric materials and coupling between electrical and strain or stress behavior. In this example, the stator we model consists of a brass ring plate with a piezoelectric ceramic attached to the lower surface. The ceramic is polarized in the thickness layer direction and the polarity is reversed at an interval of half the wavelength of a standing wave. The ninth flexural mode will be the working frequency of this motor. Therefore, each polarized piezoelectric segment will be 1 18th of the total circumference. Electrodes are also modeled and two are placed on the lower surface of the piezoelectric ceramic separated by unpolarized regions. To generate a traveling wave, the two electrodes need to be driven simultaneously with a phase difference of 90 degrees. The nodes at the interface of the brass and the ceramic are connected to the common ground to make a closed circuit for the potential. With a finite element model, a model analysis is first performed using MARC to obtain the resonant modes of the stator. Since we are interested in the ninth flexural mode, the model results are reviewed for this mode which is found to be at a frequency of 46,615 Hz. We next need to verify that a traveling wave will occur when the stator is excited at the two electrodes at the right frequency and with a phase difference of 90 degrees. The frequency range is chosen around the desired frequency of the ninth flexural mode as computed in the previous analysis. The axial displacement plot here is at a frequency of 46.6 kHz which is close to the resonant frequency and the amplitude of the displacement in the axial direction is more or less uniform in the circumferential direction. Admittance can also be calculated from this simulation as a function of the frequency and which shows increase in admittance around resonant frequency of the stator. Uh, the study confirms that a traveling wave will occur at the desired resonance frequency. Finally, a transient time domain dynamic analysis is performed to show the onset of the motion of the stator upon application of the potential. You can see that it takes a number of cycles before the traveling wave starts to emerge and 
the amount of amplitude of the axial displacement is still increasing. In summary, Mark allows us to perform all the needed simulations easily in order to obtain and verify accurate resonant frequencies, make sure the status design and materials are correct, and perform the virtual tests quickly to achieve the desired performance of the ultrasonic motor. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to learn more about how simulation can help with product designs, please visit msesoftware.com.